Right, just started on the off-road part of the climb up to uh, up to the Wayfarer. You know it's autumn when you've got mushrooms growing out of the middle of the track. Uh, here we go, the views are opening up now. Lovely. So luckily, not heading up there, but uh, behind these trees. Ah, I got it wrong. It is over there. God, should have remembered that. Done this loads of times in the past. Right, there we are. There's top of the Wayfarer, dead ahead. Got the, uh, the last steep bit coming up. And I don't think I've said what route I'm planning to take. Which is... Uh, uh, straight over the Wayfarer, down the other side obviously, and then head north and ultimately uh, back to Corwin. So we've just come <coughs> all the way from over there, following the track round. You can also uh, come up through the forest. But that makes it a lot, lot harder. This is just, uh, apart from the uh, steep road at the start, it's a fairly steady drag. So, this is where you would join if you were coming up from the forest. Oh. That's new new to me a hundred years since Wayfarer went over the top ah 1919 ah, okay we're on the steep bit now I remember it being steeper than this well, it's got steeper in my memory oh yes here we go oh boy I shouldn't have opened my big mouth earlier Ah, made it. Whew. Right, let's uh, see how wet it is. I think I can see some pools of water from up here. Oh, this bit's nice though. Getting wet. I wasn't sure how bad this would be. I know it flows like a river for uh, most, if not all, of the winter. And I know we've had a lot of rain recently. But even so, I still wasn't sure just how bad it was gonna be. 
<laughs> Actually, maybe not too bad because I think even this is flowing when it's uh, really wet. Got a feeling bits of this probably flow right through the summer. Oh my god! There used to be uh, great big sleepers crossing the worst bits. But some genius ripped those out a few years ago. I can only assume it was the uh, the 4x4 four four brigade, so they've got great big pools like that to drive through. Ah, here we are, it was this sort of thing. Huh. Some of them have been put back after a fashion. I was thinking about uh, wearing some new waterproof riding trousers that I've got to test them out, but given how warm it is today, I think it would have been a boil in the bag experience. Especially on the climbs. <laughs> So wet ass it is. Yeah, this bit definitely flows in the wet. I've come down here and it's been sheer ice and ended up on my ass. Surprise, surprise. Oh. is in winter you get absolutely sodden coming down here and then the next thing that happens is you freeze your body temperature just plummets is pretty much that. The road's just down here now. Okay, here we go. Start of the next climb. This steep, steep hill, oh my God. It's looking intimidating. Just get around this corner. Come on. That's such a bad climb. You even start to feel it in your arms, not just your legs. I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't bother recording the rest of the climb because it's just a, it's just a long drag. Seems to go on for longer than you could ever imagine possible. <sighs> Hopefully this makes it worth it though.
met a couple of fellas on uh, motocross bikes on the way up who said that uh, the track is completely washed away where the stream crosses so they had to turn around hopefully I'll be able to get across just means uh, wet feet Oh my god. going to take some jumping <coughs> okay here we go <coughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. I was about to say it wasn't too bad my foot disappeared in the mud. Ah, now this is interesting. This makes me think the track hasn't washed away. Instead, it got dug up. Looks like this is all to stop uh, motorbikes and four by fours I know there is quite <clears throat> quite a lot of ill feeling from the locals towards uh, the motorbikes and four by fours but it seems a bit extreme to dig the track up like that I've got, got this to myself. Well, selfishly, I ain't going to complain. Bloody hell. bottom part of this descent is my favourite pit of the ride nice bit of exposed bedrock just hope it's not looking too uh, slippy and intimidating today Oh, maybe I should have stayed high. Oh. I think this has got rougher. I'm sure this has got rougher since I last came this way. Oh my god. Yep. It definitely has. As you can see, if it was wet, this would be pretty scary. Lovely in the dry, though. Yes. Oh my god. 
God. Let's see, we're going for it. <coughs> right, a little bit on the road now and then <coughs> a long drag up into the forest. <sighs> right, let's see. Long, boring climb done. And at this stage, there's a choice. This road carries on straight on down to the A5 and there's a bridleway a bit further down that <clears throat> goes off to the right. Uh, or you can take this as a faint path where the trees end and this leads to another bridleway that goes off down in that direction, uh, which is my preferred option. <clears throat> Okay, I changed my mind. It was nice for a while. But then it got so narrow, you could barely walk along it, never mind. Push a bike. Arms getting scratched to hell by the, uh, by the pine needles. That was not pleasant at all. Uh, let's give this a go. This might be it. It's pretty faint. But I'm getting a good feeling about it. Oh yeah, this is it. Come on drone, you can do it. That's it, that's it. Follow, follow, follow. Yeah, come on. This way. Just had a bit of unwanted excitement with the drone trying to do a runner. Uh, unfortunately, I think it's just, uh, unfortunately, I think it's just farm track most of the way now. It's bloody fast though. Oh, it's going to be this all the way to the bottom, is it? Oh! That was surprising.
motoring down just left through the stupidest one oh bloody hell Wow, I don't know if the camera is catching the uh, colour of that hillside. Bright orange. Yeah, go on, it's got to get that. Turn there. I think so. Doesn't look like many people are coming this way. It's a useful bridge to have on a bridal way. Right, just straight down to the A5 now. And back to Corwin. It's a shame about that uh, bit through the trees. Makes it hard to recommend coming that way. There's quite a nice path through the trees, apart from that. And there's quite a nice descent as well, if you can find it. Anyway, that's the uh, Wayfarer loop 